In the realm of metaphysical and spiritual exploration, we tend to transcend the confines of the physical and mental realms. These concepts, I am not my body, and I am not my mind, require that we delve into the deeper nature of reality. In the conventional understanding of self, we are confined by the limitations of the body and the fluctuations of the mind. In the metaphysical and spiritual realm, we transcend these confines and awaken to the boundless nature of our true being. Picture this scenario. As you watch this video, you're prompted with a question. Are you aware of the body? Your immediate response is yes. You're conscious of the physical vessel that carries your essence. The gentle rise and fall of your chest with each breath. The subtle warmth of your skin as it grazes the fabric of your clothing. And the faint heartbeat pulsating in the background. This recognition underscores a fundamental truth. You are not the body itself, but the awareness that perceives it. It's a simple yet significant realization that serves as the cornerstone for the concept that I am not my body. Now let's consider the act of witnessing this video. When you engage with it, do you believe it's you? As in your core identity who is seeing it? Or is it your eyes that are responsible for this visual perception? The answer becomes evident. It's your eyes that enable sight, not your identity. You are the observer of this act of seeing and beyond the visual experiences. You become aware of the symphony of sounds accompanying the video. This includes the soft hum of the screen, the melodious voice narrating the content or perhaps even the distant sounds of life unfolding around you. You emerge as the awareness that bears witness to this entire sensory experience, fully engaged and intimately connected to it. Just as your eyes facilitate seeing, your ears enable hearing, you represent the conscious entity that apprehends these sensory perceptions. The comprehension of I am not my body goes beyond the recognition that you're more than the physical form. It encompasses the acknowledgement that your body serves as a vessel through which consciousness engages in the human experience. When emotions, whether they carry a positive or negative charge, arise, it's essential to remember that they are sensations experienced by the body, not by the core of who you are. You may have come across phrases like, I have anxiety or I am angry, but these expressions are misleading. They insinuate an attachment to emotions that in reality are energetic phenomena transpiring within the body. Emotions, whether they bring joy or turmoil, are essentially energy in motion, aptly termed emotions. They are not transpiring to you they manifest within the realm of the body and mind. Recognizing this fact empowers you to navigate these emotional currents without resistance or attachment. Instead of identifying with these emotional tides, you transition into the role of the observer, allowing these energetic patterns to ebb and flow organically. This shift in perspective liberates you from the tumultuous roller coaster of emotions that often result from the misconception that you are the emotions themselves. As we continue to explore these concepts, it's crucial to comprehend that the mind plays a pivotal role in perpetuating the illusion of identity. Entwined with the body and emotions, the mind constructs personas that weave narratives that the ego clings to, endeavoring to take on the role of your true self. The mind's relentless pursuit of assuming the mantle of your authentic being fosters an uneasing cycle of identification with thoughts and emotions. Nevertheless, it's imperative to retain the awareness that you are not the mind. And you are not the personas it concocts. Your authentic essence transcends the web of mental constructs and the illusions of identity. 
Embracing this truth empowers you to disentangle from these narratives, spun by the mind, and step into a realm of profound liberation. The contemplation of existence unfolds between the observer and the observed. Just as when you gaze upon a tree, a flower, or a plant, a form of communication unfolds that transcends the need for words. This phenomenon occurs because nature, in its purest and rawest form, reflects life's essence. Nature harbors no hidden agendas or ulterior motives. It merely exists. In the act of observation, something deeper comes to light, a dimension that surpasses our conventional understanding. This something isn't external. It resides within you. It represents your pure consciousness, a consciousness devoid of form or definition. In essence, you are more than your mind. While the mind serves as a potent instrument, it must not assume the role of the master. For life can descend into chaos when this occurs. True wisdom doesn't emanate from the realm of thought. It emerges as a profound recognition that we are interconnected with something far grander. An eternal flame that remains unextinguished even in the face of life's tempests. When we become overly entangled in our thoughts, we risk losing ourselves in the illusion that we are defined by them. However, the truth is that you transcend the ever-shifting mental landscapes. You are the entity that observes thoughts, emotions, and actions. The thinking mind possesses an innate penchant for crafting narratives and identities, often rooted in pride, anger, sadness, or fear. The ego finds ingenious ways to insert itself with these narratives, but these states are fleeting. You, on the other hand, are eternal, and nothing transient can ever define your true essence. To embark on a profound journey of self-discovery means to delve deeply into oneself. And in realizing who you truly are, stories and identities dissolve into silence and peace. The true self isn't trapped within the realm of concepts or definitions. It merely exists. And there you have it, a remarkable transformation. You not only liberate yourself from the narratives perpetuated by the mind and the ego, but also contribute to the liberation of the world around you. The mind, a tool of undeniable value, plays its role in the grand symphony of existence. Yet you transcend the mind. You are something transcendent something divine and eternal. This revelation cannot be conveyed through teaching alone. It demands personal experience. Words akin to pointing your finger at the sun serves as a guiding sign but should not be mistaken for the celestial body itself. Therefore, refrain from becoming entangled in words, concepts, or philosophies. Instead, immerse yourself directly in the fullness of life, unfiltered and unmediated, you cease to exist in isolation. You merge seamlessly with the entirety of all that is, for you are not an isolated entity. You exist in indivisible unity with the entirety of everything. Within this oneness, within this harmonious union, you encounter the true essence of life. Beyond the tumultuous waves of thoughts and the urges of emotions, a tranquil silence prevails. An active, palpable presence where the profound truths patiently await discovery. In this silence, the division between the observer and the observed gracefully dissolve, revealing a boundless unity that transcends the cacophony of the world. We are all one. Human fluence out. <laughs>